as they come now on the approach to the turn in. Offline has moved up on the inside of Tarzan and in between them is Kamacharya. Then towards the outside, Impulse Power. So they're spread right across the track now on the run to the final furlong. Cedars of Lebanon and offline coming there with a white face, followed then by Tarzan and Kamacharya. Racing now inside the last 200 and it's offline now who's gone a length and a half to two up on Cedars of Lebanon in second, back in third, Tarzan and up towards the finish. It is offline and Declan McDonough going to score by two and a half to three lengths. Cedars of Lebanon, Tarzan followed in then in fourth place, Kamacharya. So they're spread right across the track now on the run to the final furlong. Cedars of Lebanon and offline coming there with a white face, followed then by Tarzan and Kamacharya, racing now inside the last 200 and it's offline now who's gone a length and a half to two up on Cedars of Lebanon in second, back in third, Tarzan and up towards the finish. It is offline and Declan McDonough going to score by two and a half to three lengths. Cedars of Lebanon, Tarzan followed in then in fourth place, Kamacharya. Lavanuela also ride with the leaders. Pillar tracks them and then power of 10. They're being followed by Gobsy's daughter as they approach the turn. Dan's gift is next. And the back market tremendous. Racing on now, furling and a half to go. And Hakiba coming there on the near side of Lavanuela. Glenmore over on the far side. Pillar is making ground. Also making ground. Blast of Magic on the far side. They're racing inside the last 200 now. And Pillar has come through on the far side. On the near side, Dan's Gift swooping from the back of the field on the road at Whelan. And Dan's Gift has come right through now to cut them down and draw away to win comfortably. Dan's Gift wins. Pillar second. Hakiba third. Glenmore power of 10 and they're followed in by Gobsy's daughter. And the back market tremendous, racing on now, furling and a half to go, and Hakiba coming there on the near side of Lavanuela, Glenmore over on the far side, Pillar is making ground, also making ground, Blast of Magic on the far side, they're racing inside the last 200 now, and Pillar has come through on the far side, on the near side, Dan's Gift swooping from the back of the field on the road at Whelan, and Dan's Gift has come right through now to cut them down and draw away to win comfortably, Dan's Gift wins, Pillar second, Hakiba third, Glenmore, power of 10 and they're followed in by Gobsy's daughter. On the approach to the turn into the straight, War Hero, stalked all the while by Andesh on the outside, a couple of lengths to military decoration and paint. Mazucci and check your pockets as they straighten up for home with just over two to go. War Hero, Ronan Whelan on the right, Andesh coming there in the center. Military decoration, making ground, looking for the split just in between them. Paint, Mazucci towards the outside. On the run now to the final furlong, Andesh in the lead, followed now by Paint on the near side. Military decoration, War Hero and Mazucci down the outside, but Andesh is in front as they race up towards the finish. Andesh with Mazucci on the outside as they go towards Towards the line, Mazzucci on the near side of Paint and Andesh. Military decoration is fourth. Wait for the judge. War hero Ronan Whelan on the right, Andesh coming there in the center, military decoration making ground, looking for the split just in between them, paint Mazucci towards the outside, on the run now to the final furlong, Andesh in the lead, followed now by paint on the near side, military decoration, war hero and Mazucci down the outside, but Andesh is in front as they race up towards the finish, Andesh with Mazucci on the outside as they go towards the line, Mazucci on the near side of paint and Andesh, military decoration is fourth. Wait for the judge. And Cascavel and Declan McDonough just lead. Arbor Field, Chris Hayes in second. In third place comes Tonkinese. Turbine is next. Ambassadorial against the rail. Have a nice day. And Silk Cravat come next. Mr. Ormsby, Reckless Lad. And they're followed by Annie Fior and Atlas. Racing now to the furlong and a half to go. Arbor Field has come right through now on the outside. Gone a couple of lengths in front. Then have a nice day chasing. Over on the far side, Ambassadorial is staying on. Turbine, Silk Cravat next. And then Mr. Ormsby. Arbor Field have a nice day. And Ambassadorial over on the far side. Atlas from the back putting in a late bid. But in the center, have a nice day as they hit the line. Have a nice day is going to win it from Ambassadorial. Arbor Field is third. Atlas is fourth.
Racing now to the furlong and a half to go. Albra Field has come right through now on the outside. Got a couple of lengths in front. Then have a nice day chasing. Over on the far side, Ambassadorial is staying on. Turbine, Silk Cravat next. And then Mr. Ormsby. Arbor Field have a nice day. And Ambassadorial over on the far side. Atlas from the back putting in a late bid. But in the center, have a nice day as they hit the line. Have a nice day is going to win it from Ambassadorial. Arbor Field is third. Atlas is fourth. Polymnia leads by just over a length and a half. Massala is on the outside of his arm music. Alpharac is fourth. Lady Rosewood is five. And then Fastidious Bo Satchel. And then down the outside is Kodiak's back as they straighten up now with two to go. Massala is coming there in the center to join Polymnia. Alpharac and Lady Rosewood next. Then he's our music. Racing on now towards the final furlong. Texas Radio and Kodiak's back is on the outside. Alpharac comes to join Massala in the center. Running on his bow satchel over on the far side. Masalai just in front of Alpharac. Turn on the tears running on bow satchel inside the last hundred yards. Masalai in the center. Masalai, Masalai in the center just with Alpharac. Turn on the tears and they're followed in by bow satchel and Vanderbilt is fifth. as they straighten up now with two to go. Masalai is coming there in the center to join Polymnia. Alpha Rack and Lady Rosebud next, then he's our music. Racing on now towards the final furlong. Texas Radio and Kodiak's back is on the outside. Alpha Rack comes to join Masalai in the center, running on his bow satchel over on the far side. Masalai just in front of Alpha Rack. Turn on the tears running on bow satchel inside the last hundred yards. Masalai in the center. Masalai, Masalai in the center, just with Alpharac, turn on the tears, and they're followed in by Bo Satchel, and Vanderbilt is fifth. Bruce Meadow is fifth, and then a few lengths to Lucent Dream as they come to round the bend to swing into the straight. And off the bend, Commander One, Financial Conduct coming there strongly in the center. Over on the far side is Ancient Sands, Ringside Humor, Jan Van Eyck down the outside, Lucent Dream trying to make ground up the inside, and they're followed by Sharjah, Financial Conduct in front. Spruce Meadows is chasing, Lucent Dream over on the far side, racing inside the last 200, Financial Conduct in front of Spruce Meadows and Lucent Dream, and then St. Stephen's Green and running up to the finish, Financial Conduct driven out by Shane Foley, he'll win by four. Spruce Meadows is second, then came in third place, Lucent Dream, and they're followed in by St. Stephen's Green. Over on the far side is Ancient Sands. Ringside humor. Jan Van Eyck down the outside. Lucent Dream trying to make ground up the inside. And they're followed by Sharjah Financial Conduct in front. Spruce Meadows is chasing. Lucent Dream over on the far side. Racing inside the last 200. Financial Conduct in front of Spruce Meadows and Lucent Dream. And then St. Stephen's Green and running up to the finish. Financial Conduct driven out by Shane Foley. He'll win by four. Spruce Meadows is second. Then came in third place, Lucent Dream, and they're followed in by St. Stephen's Green. As they continue now down towards the bottom turn, there's a couple of lengths further back then to Easy Pass, but as they come now to straighten up for home, it's Duke of Waspington who's in the lead. New Life is making ground on the far side. They're being followed by Six Silver Lane. After Six Silver Lane then comes Sleepy Head, and tracking them is Duke of Washington on the far side. Now in the lead is the Aigle and with six silver lane, the grey, and Adam Farah coming there on the near side. Inside the last 150, and it's the grey, six silver lane in front of Aigle and on the far side, and six silver lane, course specialist, has won again here from her Aigle and Duke of Washington, and taking fourth place, possibly easy pass. It's Duke of Washington who's in the lead. New Life is making ground on the far side. They're being followed by Six Silver Lane. After Six Silver Lane then comes Sleepy Head and tracking them 
is Duke of Washington on the far side. Now in the lead is the Agla Nahegla with six Silver Lane, the Grey, and Adam Farah coming there on the near side. Inside the last 150, and it's the Grey, six Silver Lane in front of Agla Nahegla on the far side, and six Silver Lane, course specialist, has won again here from Agla Nahegla, Duke of Washington, and taking fourth place, possibly easy pass.